That thing is a yabba dabba doozy. <laughs> Hey friends, Bandit's tail is going to really wag if you'll subscribe right now. Thanks so much. Hi friends and family, it's Papa Dale and the Bandit. Say hi everybody, how are you? We're going to go and I get a treat. Yeah, Bandit gets a we're going to go treat. We spent the night at a truck stop just north of uh, Twin Cities or Twin Falls, Iowa, uh, Iowa. Can't talk this morning. Just north of Twin Falls, Idaho. Well, friends, this is the Snake River Valley. It's fertile and lush. Gorgeous. There she be right there. Beautiful, expansive, huge Snake River. Papadale, check it out. Because this is the Snake River View rest area in Idaho. I've already crossed out of Idaho into Oregon, then did a, a roundabout loop and out of Oregon, back into Idaho. <laughs> uh, but we're going to be able to get a real nice view of the Snake River and um, Bandit's going to get a nice opportunity to water some grass here. So here we go. Boy Bandit is uh, just pulling. He, he's eager to get out here and relieve himself and uh, sniff some new smells. And That, ladies and gentlemen, is the mighty snake. The Snake River. This is a, a pretty rest stop. This is probably one of the prettiest, nicest rest stops I've ever seen. Well, Bandit is just happy He's sniffing around, he's enjoying the grass. He doesn't know where to go. He goes left, then he goes right, then he goes left, then he goes right. He doesn't know what to do. That was a nice quick little 10 minute stop. We're out of Idaho for the second time today and we've entered Oregon for the second time today on our way homebound well, hi friends Papa Dale here we've been traveling 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 probably for well let's see what time is it now Uh, about four hours straight and uh, getting a little tired gonna uh, just pull off and rest for half an hour or so do you want to go outside yeah papa uh, I want to go outside I want to sniff around and I want to pee on some bushes and and I want to go outside papa yeah hurry up come on let's go take me outside all right we're gonna go outside Pop and the bandit gonna go out and pee on some bushes. Yabba dabba doo! Can you say yabba dabba doo? No, he doesn't want to say yabba dabba doo. All right, check it out! We're gonna be there for half an hour or so to rest a little bit. I was a little tired. Ended up taking about an hour nap, which was nice. I do that just about every day anyway. So, that was good. But uh, it was 
cloudy, but it was dry when I uh, laid down. But when I woke up, there's what I woke up to. Of course, this is Oregon. <laughs> there's what it looks like out across the pasture land. This is Eastern Oregon though, and Eastern Oregon, like Eastern Washington, like Idaho, doesn't get all that much rain, but hey, gotta have the rain in order to make the fields green. So, we're on our way, Yelmbound! Yabba dabba do! Just passed a sign, a highway sign, that said we just crossed the 45th parallel, which is halfway between the equator and the North Pole. Well, that's kind of cool. I know universities sometimes put up a forestry project where they dedicate acreage to planting trees and following their growth, learning what kinds of farming methods will produce the best forests. This is pretty cool. All those trees are planted in a row so that if you look down the rows in between them, it's not a normal forest. It, it looks like they're planted like a crop, which is kind of what they were. We're actually still, I'm guessing, 150 to 200 miles from the Pacific Ocean. But the snake has already fed into the Columbia at this point. The only other major, major river that spills into the Columbia before it flows into the Pacific is the Willamette. And that happens right near Portland. A lot of folks don't know. Portland is not right on the Pacific Ocean. It is upstream from the Pacific Ocean, maybe 50 miles up the Columbia. And uh, the port of Portland is right where the Willamette and the Columbia join. Can you imagine when Lewis and Clark were riding down this giant river in canoes, a convoy of I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 canoes with American pioneers exploring this area and claiming it for the United States. 
They're Native American guides. But I'll tell you the story about how this river channel was formed. Back at the uh, last great ice age, 12 to 15,000 years ago, there was an ice sheet that covered all of Washington and nearly all of Oregon. This ice sheet was two to 3,000 feet thick. And the weight of that ice pressed down on the land. Now ice in glacier form moves. It's uh, not as fluid obviously as liquid water, but over time the glaciers move. And as the glaciers move, they scour the earth. Anything that is a little softer gets dug up. Now the end result is you probably have seen some pictures or know on the map where the Puget Sound is. The deepest spot in the Puget Sound is 1,500 feet deep and that was scoured out by the glaciers that I'm talking about. Well, these glaciers also covered all of Montana and from time to time there's cooling and warming and cooling and warming and from time to time a lake would form and in Montana the lake that formed there was stopped up by an ice bridge and from time to time the ice bridge would, or the dam ice dam would melt and it would let the water flood out well this lake today we call Lake Missoula it contained just humongous amounts volumes of water well each time the ice dam would melt and break the water would come flooding out of Montana flooding across the flatlands of Washington and Oregon and hit the Cascade Mountains which essentially we are going through right now kind of a lower spot but it's kind of part of the Cascade Mountain Range from north to south and what that water did was it blasted this channel that we see today blasted this channel right through the mountains so that the water could flood all the way into the Pacific Ocean. And it did this many, many, many times. Geologists have proven this with sedimentary layer samples all across the channel of the Columbia all the way back into Montana. So now the sides of these mountains <coughs> are beginning to look a little bit like the mountains that we saw in Utah, northern Arizona, New Mexico. All right, well, my arm's kind of getting tired from holding this camera up. So, uh, Papa Dale's going to say happy trails for now. And that Columbia River, that thing is a yabba dabba doozy. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo! You're gonna make Bandit so happy if you'll just take one moment 
to help us grow.